Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? I just want to say not only am I going to be showing you guys a little bit of testing footage in this video uh, with someone actually on the train, which is pretty cool, but definitely stick around to the end because I will be breaking down the layout for the theming building um, in the middle of the queue line. I'll call it the fun house. Um, so definitely stick around. I will be breaking down the entire layout of that building. Well, just barely missing it, but hopefully they'll send it out again. Um, welcome back, Thrill Seekers, to another update here at cons uh, here at Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. <laughs> An update here at construction. Um, as you can hear, my voice is gone, but still wanted to make a little short update for you guys with a little bit of testing footage. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it again, but before I do, I just wanted to update you guys. If you didn't know, they did announce an opening date for this ride, and that is going to be July 30th. So definitely come back then to ride this attraction. Most likely, if you are a season pass holder or a membership holder, you hopefully will be able to do a little membership uh, slash season pass preview for this ride um and look out for more information on that uh, most likely coming decently soon um if i had to guess it would be um the, the 30th is a saturday it would be that friday or maybe a couple days during the week um giving people some more options but again the park will definitely announce something along those lines um coming out pretty soon but anyways let's see if i can get another test cycle here Hopefully, hopefully. And there you go, another test cycle. Not only that, but there is someone on it, actually. Um, first thing I wanted to point out is how fast it goes up that lift hill, dude. It is actually insane. Um, so, yeah. Uh, shoots up that lift hill. Um, it, does it slow down at the top? No, just coast right through that brake run. Um, comes around this corner. It's going to slow down just a tiny bit before that hold brake um, in order to really set up that train for that hold brake there. Let me sneak right over here. Here we go. There he goes. Holds you there for one, two, three, four, around four to five seconds before dropping you down that drop there. There it goes. Personally, I know a couple people who have ridden this ride. Um, I asked one of them how it was. He said that it was a little bit more snappy um, than some other dive coasters. Um, like we have touched on before, they did try to reprogram that mid-course brake run. So you see it starting to go a little bit faster through there um, as it drops down that second drop. And here it comes into that airtime hill, which looks pretty dang intense and around that helix into the final brake run so super super cool stuff excited that i got to get that testing footage and let's see if uh, i can get some from a different angle here here's a nice night view they did just add a whole bunch of lights on here so it looks absolutely beautiful here it goes Zoom. That looks super nice and smooth. No one on it anymore. And there it goes. Over that overbank. Trying to get a spot where there's not a whole bunch of trees, but kind of tough. Right, and there it goes up into the brakes they added a whole bunch of like blue lights and everything around i'm not sure if they're gonna completely keep those or if they're just kind of temporary as they're testing everything but yeah look at that look at all the lights it looks so pretty wow beautiful Alrighty, guys so this is a video that 
Jeffrey Siebert released on his Instagram. So if you want to go see it, um, just run all the way through. You are more than welcome to go on his Instagram and check it out. Um, I'm going to be stopping the video, replaying the video multiple times, um, just so that I can show you guys everything that I want to show you. Um, so as you come on in here, you will go under this little archway. Um, this first room is probably gonna be relatively basic, um, just kind of some basic theming. Um, would not be surprised if around there um, is where the flash pass line and the regular line end up meeting up. From there, you're going to go down this long hallway, again, with a little bit more theming in there, um, kind of setting the mood, um, if you will. Um, as you walk into this room, Right there on the wall, kind of in that corner, you can see a whole bunch of cables. Um, those most likely are going to end up being TVs. Um, so this is going to be your little pre-show room and pre-show area. Um, whether they will have switchbacks in here um, and you'll watch the pre-show as you continue waiting in switchbacks or if they're going to do um, more of a Disney approach, right? Um, and kind of usher everyone into a room. You'll watch a pre-show and then you'll exit the room after. I'm really not sure. Um, it's basically either a Velocicoaster approach where the pre-show is just kind of constantly repeating and you're, you know, waiting in line um, as you're watching it. Or, you know, more of a Disney, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, for example, approach um, where... You know, you walk in, um, a pre-show plays, and then doors open up on the other side, right? So um, we will see what they end up doing a little bit later, but um, this will definitely be the pre-show room um, with a whole bunch of theming, um, some different uh, sets and structures that they have revealed over at Roller Coaster Rodeo. From there, you're going to enter this massive room. This massive room is indeed going to be where the lockers are. Um, they will be double-sided lockers, um, from my knowledge. So you will be putting your stuff in these lockers on one side. Um, and then on the other side, as you exit the attraction, you will enter back into this room. Um, except just on the other side of the lockers. So um, if I had to guess, the lockers will be kind of right in the middle of this room um, in order to kind of separate the entrance and the exit. Um, you can see that there are three ways in. Um, there's one way in on the right-hand side right as you enter. From there, as you keep going, there's another door kind of in the middle of the room. Um, and then there seems to be kind of the entrance, or sorry, the, the exit um, door. You know, after you put your stuff in the lockers, you'll mostly likely exit through um, that little piece of theming um, on that, in that back corner over there. Um, so again, three ways in. Uh, most likely one of them will act as an employee door um, and the lockers will be right in the middle so that you can plop your stuff in the lockers, go ride the ride, and then after, you'll re-enter the room just on the other side of the lockers in order to get all of your stuff out. So, there you go. That right there is a breakdown of the theming for Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. I'm excited to really see all of the theming and uh, the, this whole building really come to life. Um, you know, it seems like Really, all they have to do is move all of the, you know, small animatronics and uh, other things that they have made, uh, props and other things that they've made for the theming room. Um, they just have to move them in there, set up the TVs, set up the lockers, and then they will be good to go. And they have a couple weeks to do that. So I'm sure by opening this thing will be 100% set and ready to go. Alrighty. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this little update. This mini update. <laughs> I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.